Hi guys, it's Lynette. Let's make some red velvet waffles with a cream cheese drizzle. First thing we're going to do is mix our dry ingredients. We have one cup all-purpose flour, four tablespoons sugar, two teaspoons cocoa powder, one quarter teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon baking soda, and one and a half teaspoon baking powder. We're going to whisk all of that together. Once it's whisked together, we're going to mix our wet ingredients. We have one egg, one third cup vegetable oil, three quarters cup plus two tablespoons buttermilk, one half teaspoon white vinegar, one and a half teaspoon vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of red food coloring. We're just going to whisk all of that together. Once it's whisked together, it'll look just like this, and we're going to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients and whisk both our wet and dry ingredients together. Once they're whisked together, it'll look just like this. And we're going to heat up our waffle iron. I'm using a mini waffle iron, which I love. I also have one that has four compartments. I love them both. We're going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray and add one scoop of our waffle batter right to the center. Let it cook for about two to three minutes and it'll look just like this. Let's get a close up. Look at that waffle. Once we cook our waffles, we're going to line them up on the plate. And then we're going to mix a quick cream cheese drizzle. We have one block of cream cheese. We have one half stick butter, one and a half cup of powdered sugar, a half teaspoon vanilla, and about a half cup of milk, or a little bit more depending on how you want your consistency to be for your drizzle. We're going to drizzle that cream cheese right over top of those waffles. You can add as much or as little as you like. And you can leave it like this, or you can dress it up with some fruit like I do. I'm going to add one fanned strawberry and then we're going to add some fresh blueberries. We're just going to scatter those on our plate and our plate is done. Hopefully you all give this recipe a try and I will talk to you all later. Bye guys.